I'm Coach Caroline, business coach and the number one best-selling author of Unleashed. I love to support ambitious women over the age of 40 to overcome burnout and build the life and businesses of their dreams. I do this through my signature program, The Unleashed Best-Selling Author. If you're feeling tired and undervalued at your nine to five and you want to have more control over your time and your energy, then this would be the program for you. Having a strong introduction really sets the tone for business interactions and establishes your credibility, your authority and your expertise. It creates a positive first impression and helps you to effectively communicate the value that you bring to the table. A well-crafted introduction can really open doors for your networking, your collaboration, and your career opportunities. It's essentially your chance to build memorable impact and lay the foundation for successful business relationships. a strong introduction prepared for yourself in advance for your business is essential because it's the beginning of this whole process, um, which ends in a successful transaction. And to have a successful business, we need to give and receive money, hopefully large amounts of it. And in order to do this, we need to sell our products, programs, and services. But in order to do this, in order to be able to sell and to enroll people and let them invest in our products, programs, and services, they need to know, like, and trust us first, which means a connection needs to be made. And the connection is only going to be made if you have a strong introduction. It is all connected. The introduction leads to a connection. Connection means you can then promote to your people because you they know, they like, and they trust you. And then once you can promote to your people, you are more likely to end up with a transaction when they know what you have to offer and they believe in what you stand for. So how does a great introduction work? Well, it's really important to be concise and catchy. Keep it short and simple and memorable. It should be appealing because it needs to hook your audience and get their attention. The point of your introduction is to connect with your audience, with your prospective clients. One of the most effective ways to connect with people is to address what they really want out of life or desire. This would be their goals, their dreams, and their aspirations. And these usually stem from what they don't desire, which is their pain and their suffering. Common pain points include desires for freedom, control, compensation, recognition, fulfillment, health, wealth, and happiness. By addressing where these pain points come from in their experience, you can create a connection with your audience and show that you understand their needs and aspirations. So if you can include one or two of these points in your introduction, then you have a good chance at connecting with your audience. Points can be topics such as freedom, freedom from something and freedom to something, control, having control over certain parts of your life, compensation, wanting to get paid more, money is a big motivator, not having enough money is a big motivator, 
recognition, feeling not valued, feeling that you don't mean enough, that your efforts are not enough for people, the recognition of your effort and your time, fulfillment, needing to have meaning in your life. If you are lacking meaning, you can become depressed and demotivated. So this is a pain point. And obviously, health, wealth, and happiness are another three places where people often will connect with you when they're having conversation. So when you can join in that conversation in a client's head, that's when you make the connection. And the way that we do that is by acknowledging their pain and their goals. And seeing as you've already been there, and you've already been through what your target audience is going through, then this should not be a problem for you. You just need to put yourself back into the shoes of the person you were in the past. So when you check the worksheet, there are some questions. So take some time to fill in the worksheet. introduction is catchy, it's snappy, um, it cannot be too wordy. I know you want to tell us everything about yourself, but try to just pick out two or three main points. And then if you're feeling really confident, you can make an invitation at the end of your introduction, such as if you're thinking about leaving your nine to five and becoming an entrepreneur, let's talk about it if you're ready. If you want to learn more about becoming an entrepreneur and leaving burnout behind, click my link. Discover how easy and fast it is at www.yourwebsite.com. Practice saying your introduction until you feel comfortable with it and put that invitation on the end as an extra bonus and you will have a confident, snappy introduction that is ready for you to bring out of your back pocket whenever you need. This is the end of this strategy session. If you have any comments or feedback, please do share them with me. If you would like to download the worksheet now, then copy and paste the link.